Hi guys, um, I hope you're all well. I wanted to come and talk to you about something a little bit different today. Um, um, don't worry, it's not another video where I've had to deal with any creeps lately. That's all been dealt with, I can assure you. Um, but what I did want to talk to you about is fundraising. Um, now, last year, during um, the first lockdown, uh, my husband Alan and I got some friends together and we, um, we did a murder mystery um, event via Zoom to raise money for Macmillan. And I think we uh, raised in total with the gift aid, I, don't, I can't remember the exact figure, but I think it was around about four, uh, £540 pounds that we eventually sent off to Macmillan, which was just fantastic. I mean, we'd only hoped to get like 150, but you know, everyone was so supportive and 540 with the gift aid was just incredible. It, that money goes a long way to help Macmillan with the work that they do. Um, so I thought I would do something again this year. Um, last year when we did the Murder Mystery Night, it was a lot of fun. Um, and I thought this year I'd do something that maybe wasn't quite as fun, just to make it more challenging. Um, and I did originally think about um, Stoptober, but uh, it's my birthday on the 1st of October, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, I would be 35 years old, I think. Um, so yeah, because mine and Alan's birthdays are so close together, we always celebrate our birthdays together. So on the 2nd of October, we're actually going out um, for a bit of a party um, and it wouldn't be good to break Stoptober after one day and I'm not going to go to a birthday party and not have a couple of drinks, to be honest. So um, I, I had a thought and um, yeah, I, uh, I started smoking when I was 12 years old, something I'm not proud of and I think it's probably one of the worst decisions I ever made in my life um, but you know it, it is what it is I started can't go back and change it now but um, I did decide to give up smoking in November last year and um, not, not gone as well as I'd hoped I'm not smoking quite as much as I was uh, because I was smoking around about 20 cigarettes a day uh, which is quite a lot uh, I know there's people out there that smoke more, but even so, it's still a lot. Um, but I'm not smoking every day, it's sort of in jibs and drabs. So I'll sometimes go like a whole week without a cigarette and then I'll, we'll go out for a night out and one of our friends who smokes, you know, I'll sort of say, oh, let's pinch a bag, you know, and then the next day I'm going out and buying a packet of cigarettes and it's, you know, it's, I need to break the cycle. So I thought this would be a brilliant opportunity for me to finally kick the habit. So I'm doing my own version of Stoptober where I shall be giving up these. You know. um, so I am going to set up a GoFundMe page. I'll put the link down underneath this video. Anyone that can you know, donate anything, even if it's pennies, even if it's pennies, it, it, it's so needed. I mean, in this last year alone, we've, we've come on so far in in the, the things that they can do for cancer now. I mean, they, they're trying at the moment, they're starting to trial um, a blood test that they are hoping can identify around 50 different types of cancer uh, at early stages, um, which will you know, better people's chances of getting the right treatment early enough um, for them to, to survive it. Um, however, sorry, as usual, my lip's sweating, um, However, there are still so many people that you know aren't going to have a good outcome from cancer. Sadly, it's, it's just not possible to cure everyone, is it? Um, and especially at the moment with the, the stress that the NHS has been under with this pandemic, the, the waiting times for, for treatments and even just to get a doctor's appointment to, to get something checked and get an early diagnosis I, I saw a story recently about someone local to us who uh, was worried about something, contacted the doctors, they weren't doing face-to-face -face appointments, so you know this person had to send a photograph of the, the issue that, was, that they wanted looked at. Um, you can only tell so much from a photograph, let, let's be honest. Um, 
and it, it turns out it was cancer but they didn't you know the doctors didn't see it in the photograph so it wasn't diagnosed in time and unfortunately this this gentleman now has less than a year um to live which is really quite sad and it's it's organizations like Macmillan that do so much work with um cancer patients their families because you know cancer is not something that just in affects one individual it affects their entire family you know all of us I, I i don't think i know anyone personally who has not been touched by cancer in some way um and it's just it's, it's a horrible 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 disease and people like you know organizations like Macmillan are so needed they do so much work to to help try and comfort people and support them and their families and it's never going to be an easy thing but they they I suppose they make the 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 journey a little less difficult where they can if that makes sense um so yes that's my plan so from midnight on the uh, 1st of October I will be having my last cigarette and what I'm going to do uh, I'm not sure how often it probably won't be every day because no one needs to see me every day even I don't need to see me every day but I have to unfortunately um I will post updates as to how I'm getting on and talk about the effects that the withdrawal from the nicotine and all of the other crap that's in the cigarettes that your body just gets so used to um you know how what sort of impact that's having just to keep you all updated um so yeah i'm looking forward to the challenge but also i'm kind of dreading it at the same time but it's going to be so worth it so yes i will I, i'm going to set the gofundme page up and I will post the link uh, underneath in the comments on here on YouTube and I'll also um, share as normal to my Facebook page and put the link up there as well. So any of you, even if it's only 10 pence, you know, it all adds up, <coughs> excuse me, it all adds up and it all helps. So anything that you can uh, do will be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. So um, it's wish me luck. Um, if any of you have given up smoking before, um, let me know in the comments how you got on, if you were successful, how many times you tried to give up smoking and failed, if you did. Um, yeah, and any, any words of encouragement that any of my lovely friends or any of my other followers um, are happy to, to send my way, I will greatly appreciate it. Um, so yes, with your support and you all cheering me on, I'm sure I will manage this without a problem. I can do this. I will smash it. <laughs> okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.